up guys time is back another eat fast or straight trash video and uh today i got a uh, couple of snacks that if you guys are on that new year's resolution maybe trying to lose a little bit of weight um again maybe you're on that low carb high protein diet trying to stick to it now maybe you've had your last hurrah of unhealthy foods last week and now you're trying to get back into getting in shape uh i know i'm getting pretty round myself so it's time to start uh cutting back and start eating better um got some pork rinds um from all places or all brands that make pork rinds who would have thought the brand that's getting into it now i mean i guess they would get into it they make beef sticks and jerkies like that um now if you guys remember this brand was so popular back in the 90s when Macho Man Randy Savage, ooh, yeah, step into a Slim Jim. Back in the day when he used to do the um, little um, commercials with the Slim Jims, um, those things were popular. I mean, I don't know what wrestler has ever made something so popular. I don't care who it is, even Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he made wrestling popular, but what else has he made popular besides wrestling or the rock besides movies like what actual brand name thing has he made popular but macho man made slim jim popular as hell back in the 90s everyone wanted a slim jim back in the day even if they were kind of nasty uh but here we go we do have some slim jim pork rinds with two different flavors hog wild barbecue and squealing hot now again you guys um these are good um kind of for the keto diet only thing is you know you kind of want to try to eat the unflavored kind these ones are a little bit high on the sodium um especially if you plan on eating a whole bag of these so if you look at it you know there's almost virtually no carbs in these things maybe one at the most but here we go 80 calories that's per serving there's four of them in here so that's about 320 but then you get about 32 grams of protein per bag. So that's definitely high protein uh, material right there. Uh, but then again, look at that. The only problem is that sodium right there. So if you ate this whole bag, um, that would be about 1,200 milligrams of sodium. Hmm. Kind of a lot. So you guys got to be careful on these. These are definitely uh, good. For the keto but uh i don't know as far as overall health are these good i don't know so uh but anyways you guys are here to see if these taste good if you know these are worth grabbing i personally like pork rinds are pretty damn good um only thing i hate about pork rinds though if you guys know this is that you always get those light crispy ones which are really good all the time but then you get those ones where you crunch onto them and then you feel like you done shattered all the teeth in your damn mouth so I'm hoping these kind of fix that a little bit because, man, sometimes those are a little bit rough, those super crunchy ones. Now, I think they only have two flavors because, as you can see, on the back it says try our other flavor, and this one's squilling hot, and then this one says try the barbecue. So maybe they just got two flavors. Um, not sure if they got uh, just a regular seasoning or just regular straight-up pig skin, but, man, if you guys are ever... Um, in the uh you know market for pig skins or chicharrones what they call it um try your mexican uh supermarket they usually got fresh ones that they just made and those things are amazing you guys they got these little fat knobs on each one of them that tastes so damn good it's so much different than these things you guys so if you guys are ever at the mexican supermarket go see if they got some fresh chicharrones okay but here we go try the hog wild barbecue first because i'm really not a fan of barbecue flavored chips or anything like that so we'll try these first uh, but here we go i think these things are about uh i think they're less than two dollars for this bag so um depending on where you get them so here we go as you can see they are seasoned pretty nicely with that barbecue that squealing barbecue seasoning so here we go now i'm wondering if squealing barbecue means no this is hog wild barbecue my bad so hog wild barbecue so i'm assuming the wild maybe they're a little spicy too because they do got flames on the bag so let's see oh yeah that's a def that's good 
It's a very good seasoning. Um, it's not really spicy at all. It's got like maybe just a touch of heat, but that's, you know, almost like when you have um, paprika. Almost has like this smoky, just a little touch of spice taste to it, but that was pretty good, you guys. Um, yep, there's that paprika in there. A little tomato powder. But again, man, these are my favorite ones. When you get these nice little, just flat ones like that, you know it's going to be light and crispy. I'm not going to have to worry about breaking any teeth. But now, these are the ones you really got to be careful on. You can't just throw these in the mouth and start chomping because, uh, again, unless you want to lose a few teeth during this year, you have to watch out on these. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if these ones are soft or these fall into that super hard category. So here we go. Definitely much crunchier, but they're not super hard where you're going to break your teeth. So I'm digging these ones, man. Even for a barbecue flavor, these are pretty decent. I'd pretty, I'd recommend this one, especially if you guys like barbecue chips or anything like that. You want that um, high-protein, low-carb type snack. These are definitely pretty good. All right, next up, let's try those squealing hot. Hoping this stuff is squealing hot-esque. So there we go. Got a nice vinegary type smell to it, probably from that hot sauce or whatever hot seasoning they got on there. So here you go, squealing hot. Here we go, let's try. Ooh, look at that seasoning, that thing is super red, look at that. That's that Wisconsin Badger red right there, here we go. Hey, you guys, those are really good, you guys. Um, that's a good flavor. Nice little spice, nice little kick to it. Maybe a little cayenne pepper in here as well. Got some nice garlic and onion powders working in here. But, man, I'm, I'm trying to look at this thing and see what's giving it this heat. Um, doesn't say anything about, like, any peppers or anything like that. So I'm not really sure where the heat's coming from on this one. Um, maybe these mixtures of words I've never seen before. Maybe that's kind of the culprit of this heat. But those are really good, you guys. If you guys are fans of, like, Flamin' Hot Cheetos or Flamin' Hot anything, these are really good. Right up your alley, right here. A nice amount of heat, too. Um, now, if you don't like heat at all, you're probably not going to like this kind at all, but if you like even just the slightest bit of heat, these are perfect. It gives you the right amount of heat. Start feeling it in the back of the throat piece. But man. Oh man. And I'm definitely a much bigger fan of the squilling hot over these wild barbecue. But these wild barbecues are also good as well, you guys. You guys more like that barbecue flavor. But man, I'm definitely impressed with these. Pork rinds, it's definitely got that right crispness that I like. Not too many hard pieces in here so far. Maybe when you get to the bottom, you'll get some of those really crunchy pieces. But these are nice, light and crispy. Again, Slim Jim, Macho Man. Ooh, yeah! But there you go. That is a review on the pork rinds from Slim Jim. I would definitely eat those fast. Those are not trash at all. But I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to go eat some real food now. Indian food. Ooh. You guys like Indian food? Let me know down in the comment below. And what do you like? Man, I love some uh, chicken masala. Man, that stuff is so good, right? But I'm getting up out of here. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, if you guys enjoyed that video, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. All right? Peace out. Yeah.